Hey Virgo, what's up? I hope you're all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-January to the end of January 2022. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, which is perfectly okay. If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Virgo. And the roles can be reversed, all right? Because this reading is general. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with you for the second half of January, 2022. All right, for the situation, we have the King of Pentacles crossed by the Ten of Wands. Okay. So definitely feels like there has been a commitment here. There's a person, it could be you, it could be them, um, who was in a commitment, maybe in a different situation or maybe in this connection, okay? Could go either way. Um, there's a lot of responsibility that this person is feeling like they're carrying and they're having a really hard time dealing with that, possibly feeling just very, very overwhelmed, not knowing um, whether they should release this responsibility or if there's another way around it or something along those lines. We'll see more when we clarify. For the recent past, we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so somebody felt like, felt like they were winning, felt like they were being successful, like they were doing what they should be doing, um, possibly feeling like they were gaining other people's respect. We'll see. For you, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so we already have a lot of, quite a bit of Earth. We also have Fire showing up. Um, it feels like this is related to work. It doesn't feel so much love-based. Whatever the case, I feel like you are just really focusing on practical aspects at the moment. For some of you, it definitely could be work or you're trying to really focus on working on some kind of a collaboration, some kind of a compromise, some kind of an agreement. And in some way, it does relate to this person. So again, we'll see. For them, we have the Ten of Cups and the Two of Swords. It's like they're blocking out happiness because they're feeling this, this love. They feel like they could have this Ten of Cups with you, right? This ultimate fulfillment and love. But there's either something here that the two of you just don't agree on or they're just um, not making a decision that needs to be made in order to have this. But it, it almost feels like they're just kind of turning a blind eye to something here. Let's see for the near future, we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, it, it kind of feels like it's this, um, I feel like it goes back to the Six of Wands here for the recent past, like, it's like somebody is doing something that's making them feel like this is what I need to do in order to be successful, this is what I need in order to have respect and admiration from others, feeling like they're winning, but that's actually not, not based in reality. Almost like it's actually um, boomeranging, boomeranging on them, like backfiring. Let's see the message for you. We have temperance. Okay, so yeah, patience, healing, um, I'm even getting divine timing, like, we'll see, we'll clarify, but I feel like it, it's almost like spirit is saying, you know, just hold tight, things will get better here. And if not, with this connection, for you at least, things will get better. So let's clarify. Let's see the King of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. All right, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Wands. 
it really feels like there is some kind of a commitment here. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to be another person, um, but definitely feels like there's some kind of a, something that had a very strong foundation, at least in the physical, maybe not energetically, maybe not spiritually, but at least in the physical, it's like something that is, you know, well grounded, very serious. But whatever that is, it's causing a lot of disappointment, it's causing a lot of unhappiness and a lot of loneliness. And so I can see why whoever this person is, who is attached to that, is feeling really overwhelmed, not knowing how to release that responsibility or to release this, this commitment that they have found themselves in. Again, it could be you, it could be them, maybe the both of you. Um, either concerning each other or another situation, as I said. It's not clear, and it could be different for each of you. But let's see. Let's see, because I do feel like something's working out here, all right? Let's not forget that we do have temperance here. Let's see the three of pentacles in your energy. Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands. This almost feels like you're trying to resist some kind of an urge. Some kind of an urge that is involving other people or maybe this person, but more so other people or a particular agreement with this person. Or you want to go back on a particular agreement that, that you have come to. I, I'm not sure if you're doing it. But you're definitely feeling that, that urge. Or some kind of an urge. It could be that there's been some kind of an offer and you are, it's like it, it might feel tempting but you're trying to resist it for some of you and then for others of you, you just want to go back on something. You're feeling the surge to go back on something. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. And we got the Five of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, so there's some kind of a, some kind of an agreement or some kind, it could even be like a work situation, especially if you work with this person or worked with this person. Um, but it, it feels like there was either some kind of a contract or some kind of a, um, how do you say it, like a collaboration or something that you agreed to, like an arrangement, where it's like something feels off about it now. And, or the way that things have turned out, it's conflicting you. And it almost feels like it's just whatever this arrangement is. And maybe just you made this arrangement on your own. Like maybe it's a deal you made with your own self for some of you. Um, but whatever it is, it's like it, it feels like it's not in alignment with how you truly feel or intuitively with how you feel. And I feel like that's the reason why you kind of want to either go back on this or you're just feeling a little bit off about it. And it just really feels like, you know, your intuition is really speaking to you. So I, I feel like the message here is to really listen to your intuition, trust your intuition, whatever it is that it's telling you concerning some kind of a, something you've been working towards or something that you're thinking about working towards. No idea what this could be about. <laughs> Let's see for them. Let's see the Ten Cups. All right, the Three of Wands, the Five of Swords showing up again. Yeah, okay, so I feel like that's them, because, yeah, 
what I was saying before about this Five of Swords and the Six of Wands about um, about somebody, you know, kind of going against what they feel as well because they're it's like they're they want to do what they think would be considered successful or considered right. Um, it's the other person here because now they're getting the Five of Swords. It's like this person again. They, like I said, they feel this love for you. They feel like this connection between the two of you could be, you know, um, something ideal. But it's like they're holding back or they're waiting for something. They're waiting for something, even though they, they do want to come forward. They do want to experience this love with you like 100%. But there's something here that is holding them back because they just really want to prove something or they want to win something or something along those lines. Um, so, I mean, this person might also be engaging in a little bit of manipulation to some extent. Trying to manipulate the situation so that it's like so that they can win in, in some way. Let me see the two of swords. The Knight of Swords and the Star. It's like they're, they're turning a blind eye to what they really want. And what they want is to pretty much <laughs> rush towards you, um, offer you this cup, offer you truth. But they're procrastinating. They're, they're not doing it. But that's what they really, really want. This is also Aquarius um, showing up. Let me see that Five of Swords for the near future. The World and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they can't keep this up for too much longer. Um, it's They're having a hard time closing out a cycle. They're definitely having a hard time closing out a cycle. Um, but I actually feel like this whole... When I feel like it's them even like manipulating their own mind, like their own self to keep themselves from doing what they really want because there's just this other issue here that's overpowering them. And I do feel like it's ego based. But whatever that is, it's going to come full circle. Not easily, but it is going to come full circle. Like something is completing here. And that's going to be difficult for them, that completion. Because it's like that cycle is going to be done, which is going to push them out of it. And they're going to have to make some kind of a shift here. And that's going to be a little bit difficult for them to adjust to or to really um, find balance in that. But, but I feel like that is just, you know, part of the process here, at least for them. Let's see temperance for the message for you. All right, and we have the Emperor and the Page of Wands. All right, whatever the case, it's very, it's very positive. It's a very positive message here. And I feel like really what this is, it's, I'm not going to say that this is um, concerning them specifically, that this is all about their energy, you know, becoming the Emperor and taking charge and all of that. I feel like this is all about things coming together in the way that they should in time. And actually what I'm getting more so than anything is that in time, this other person, because I feel like they're overly in this emperor type of uh, energy in the negative way. Um, almost like wanting to appear the emperor or wanting to 
really be in control of something. And I, it feels like in time, this person is actually moving from that energy to the page. But in this particular context, that's actually a good thing. Normally, we would be saying the opposite. But for this particular person, I feel like it's, it's the opposite. It's like then just, okay, you know, being more down to earth, more, more grounded, like, all right, <laughs> I don't need to be this winner all the time, you know, ego being in the way, needing respect and admiration from others. It's really about having those things for our own self, not looking outside of ourselves to get that. And that's what I see this person moving towards in time. But, you know, whether you will still be around um, to then want this, you know, that's a, that's a different story. It really depends on you and it really depends on everybody's particular situation. And as far as for you, yeah, you know, you're healing through this. You're healing through this. I do feel like it's a situation that you may have been in quite some time. Um, but I feel like you, you, for, for you, you're becoming your own emperor and gradually also seeing things it, either in a new way or just really taking a new path here. Regardless of whether, you know, you end up um, coming together with this person. So, yeah, let's see. Virgo, if this resonated. Final message for you. Yeah, this one wanted to flip over. And we have the new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, okay, maybe at some point with this person. Um, I do feel like for a lot of you, it, it, this is going to be something new for the time being at least until this person works things out or maybe even, you know, forever. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody. So yeah, Virgo, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.